So we're going to do our Google edition. As you can see, today's theme is largely about Google because you can't talk about content strategy and search without talking about Google. And um, we've spent a lot of time talking about Microsoft up until now. So Google really deserved its 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 uh, its uh, fair share. So for our five definition segment, we're going to do the Google definition, uh, the Google edition of the five definitions. And so uh, over to you, Jeff. That's great. Thanks, Dan. Okay, so we're going to cover five things today. Something called Palm, Google Bard, Duet, a SERP, and quantum AI. So let's get into it. So the first definition we want to make sure everybody knows is Palm or Pathways Language Model. So, so if you've been really keeping up, you may have heard of, a, of an AI model called Lambda, which was Google's original language model. Well, Palm is their current next generation version of their language model. So you can think of Palm just like GPT-4, whereas Google Bard might be more like chat GPT to, to the GPT engine underneath chat GPT. Palm is essentially Google's new language model. They are using this across all of their products. You're seeing it integrated now in Bard instead of their old Lambda model and in Duet as well. What they really did with this model is they tried to build it in a way that there's a core model that understands language and that they could train what they call nodes and pods onto the edges of the model to give it very specific use cases like how to code or how to interpret language between um, different human languages like Chinese to English, et cetera, and translation tasks. Um, Google Bard. So this is the chat GPT competitor or Bing's chat feature. So right now, Google is being very clear that this is experimental. That's a little bit of a marketing and liability protection based on what Dan shared with us earlier. It's an experimental technology, like all of this technology is. Um, you can actually use this right now if you go to bard.google.com. It works and functions very similar to chat GPT, but it's hooked into Google search engine. It's also multimodal right now. So if you ask it for ideas for dinner, it will give you ideas and give you pictures of those of those dinner plates. So it's it's evolving pretty quickly. I'd encourage you to check it out. I can send a link in the chat. Um, Duet AI, like Dan said, this is Google's response to Microsoft Copilot. We learned all about that. I believe it was last week in our lectures, and it's really an AI assistant for Google's cloud products. Their initial rollout has been focused on some of the more developer-heavy things like coding or chatbot development. But like Dan said, this is the platform that will be rolling out to things like Google Docs or even Gmail to help you incorporate AI into your workflow. And I think this is really important to me because when I think about it, you know, I'm an engineer and I love to nerd out on this stuff and I like to code and I have local versions of, of AI models on my machine, but to the average business owner, that's not an investment you can or probably should be making. So I think if I'm in a, when I put my CEO hat at Saltbox, we are really closely watching things like Copilot and Duet because that's the most accessible way that instead of building a full AI model, I know that I will be able to use these tools in my existing workflows. Duet. And co-pilot will change your life full stop. You, you just, Absolutely. you will not even be able to remember your life without it. It's going to be at least as transformative in your day-to-day -day life as the cell phone. Absolutely. And it's coming this year. I heard a, I heard a really interesting anecdote of somebody sort of, predicting that we'll all be using AI to write emails to each other. And we'll start with just three bullets and the AI will write this really long email. And then on the other end, we'll use AI to summarize that really long email into three bullets. And we'll just be sending a bunch of noise at each other all the time. It'll be fun. Um, SERP, what's a SERP? So this is important in the context of SEO. A SERP is a search engine results page. So when people talk about search engine optimization, their goal is to show up on the SERPs. And this is also important to be aware of because as we're seeing things like BARD or GPT-4 roll out, the anatomy of a search engine results pages is likely going to change fairly drastically over the next five years. We'll take a look at some examples of this when we go over some one-on-one -on -one stuff for SEO. And then finally, quantum AI. So again, just a nod to Google's deep expertise in this space. So, so Google has a quantum computing research team and a set of tools and libraries that are available to, to developers to help people push and innovate in this field of quantum research. Google is actually the first team to demonstrate computational tasks on a quantum supercomputer, i.e., 
they were able to actually do a calculation, not just do theory. The reason this is so important is when we talk about, like we talked about with large language models, one of the important components to the performance of artificial intelligence is computational power. Quantum computing takes what we can do right now on GPUs to a whole nother level, like a thousand X what we're talking about right now. So, so Google is sitting on a hardware innovation here that could also be very, very impactful in this domain.